Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and it is time for some more of The Long Run, where we are playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. As evidenced by the screen. Uh, so, I've got things set up a little bit differently. Hopefully it's not too noticeable, but uh, just let me know if it... Uh, Takes a little longer to load. That's probably why, but it seems to be fine. Oh, so we're just gonna start right off, okay. Okay, and sure enough, the last uh, treasure that Ms. Mouse was smelling was the Crystal Star itself that was right here, which is the last thing that we did last time. Taking a, uh, a long trip over uh, along the Excess Express or to Poshley Heights, where literally once there, the only thing uh, between us and the Crystal Star was this bunch of ghosts. Although the ride to Poshley Heights was uh, a little harrowing. Hmm. So that's where, and that is where it was. Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. Just talking to my brain. All oh, geniuses do it. Congratulations, Luigi. You have found the real crystal star. So please, feel free to take it. I'll just put another fake one over here. Well, traveling with you has been rather hectic, but I do admit rather fun as well. I'm sure you still have a long road ahead, Luigi, but do not give up. I do believe I'll miss you when you're gone, Luigi. Traveling with you has been rather hectic, but, but I must admit, rather fun as well. Stop calling me Luigi. Alrighty, well let's get out of here and um, get ourselves back to Rogueport, but for now we do need to check in on a couple of people because we have had a, um, a chapter transition at the end of the last video. What is the matter with you idiots? Falling for a fake crystal star? That's asinine! Sorry dude, I mean sir. So let me guess. This means Mario managed to get the real crystal star. Uh, I'm gonna say... Maybe? <sighs> this mustache miss has nearly every crystal star now. They were mine! I think I'd better alter my plan a bit. Before you do, Sir Grotus, I think I'd better tell you something. What is it, fool? What? Are you sure? Speak! No joke, dude. I, I mean, affirmative, sir, dude. That, that, that is, I, I'm positive, sir. <sighs> Treason. Strange. Isn't it about time for Tech to call me in? Maybe he's busy. Oh, here we go. How would you know that it's about time for Tech to call you in? I have a feeling that we're in for a surprise, though. Hello, Tech. What do you want today? Princess Peach, I have. I have reached a conclusion. A conclusion? I have struggled with whether to obey orders or to speak to you, and I cannot confirm what I should believe. Tech, you don't sound right. What's going on with you? Princess Peach, please escape from this place as quickly as possible. Escape? Tech, what do you mean by that? I mean, why all of a sudden? The data you procured has been analyzed, and something terrible is... No, I will not say. But I have found out everything about Sir Grotus's plans. Grotus's plans? You mean about conquering the world? Yes. 
and among those plans was the reason why you were being held here. According to the data, No, no way! It's impossible, I don't believe it! <clears throat> yes, everything is true. That is why you must escape from here as fast as possible. But how can I do that, Tech? I mean, I, I don't even have the slightest idea where I am! I will not hide anything anymore. No, not from you. I will tell you everything. The place where you are currently imprisoned. This is the moon. Exploring me? The moon? You mean the moon that hangs up in the sky at night? That moon? That is correct. But that's unbelievable. How in the world am I supposed to escape? There is a way. You can escape, but you must follow my instructions exactly. But Tech, won't they know that you helped me? Won't you get in trouble? That is inconsequential. I would like you to be safe. That is all that matters. Tech. I am the basis computer. No one will know of your escape if I keep silent. Please do not worry about me. Escape. Escape as quickly as possible. Okay, Tech. But I must inform Mario about all this before I go. This is no longer just my problem. Understood. Understood. Hold it right there, Princess Peach. Ah, uh, you! Tech, you miserable machine. We all know what you're up to, traitor. Sir Grogus, I... met most paranoid moments, I never thought my own computer would betray me. Well, it doesn't really matter at the end, I suppose, especially since it ends here. You monster, what are you planning to do with him? <laughs> Only one thing to do with a malfunctioning computer. Cut the circuit and delete all the programs and data that cause the malfunction. Obviously all data written. Obviously all data relating to, prin to Princess Peach must go as well. Yes, we must be absolutely sure nothing like this ever happens again. No, I am. I am normal. There is no malfunction. Pipe down, Tech. x knots at the same time press the red buttons on Tech's sides. Got it, sir. Tech, no! Neil, sent. Princess B. I must go. I must go. Oh, the leash. Thank you. Tech! <laughs> Too bad, Princess Peach. Tech is no longer with us. No, you and you and Peace. How could you? Princess Peach, just stop it. There, this is no time to be worrying about a computer. We have some very important things for you to do now. Yes, very important. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a problem. So, Tech is gone now, and Princess Peach is in some sort of nondescript trouble. Um, and also, the x naughts base is on the moon. Um, guess where we're going for a 7th Crystal Star, because we already know where it is. No crystal stars. I can't find Princess Peach. 
Twilight Town was well, it wasn't exactly glorious. What's going on here? This keeps up. Mario's gonna steal everything from my grasp, as usual. Your massiveness. Hey, I, I saw that game. I saw that star piece. We did it! The Magic Koopa Scouts found the suspicious underground chamber. It isn't, it isn't even on any maps. Yeah, really suspicious. Something must be there. Hmm, about time. Well done. This is, this is where it all turns around for me, definitely. The Hammer Brothers Battalion is attempting to breach, to breach the chamber at the moment. The area is in, impenetrable. They're scrapping tooth and nail in there. No problem. Direct me there. I'll blast us through. I'm Bowser, baby. Not gonna do anything, Haluigi. Thanks. Ready to roll. Whoops. Fell in lava. Let me out. I just figured it seemed, uh, it seemed like tradition for Bowser to fall in the lava at least once. I mean, we, we have unlimited lives, so... Hmm. Now, if we were Tiny Bowser, we could go through this hole here. Unfortunately, we are not Tiny Bowser. We're just gonna have to, uh... Ah, dang it. You gotta be kidding me. Inconceivable. done yet. I'm on fire! I want to explore some more. I guess I'm not exploring some more of that. Whatever. Let's let's just get let's just get moving. Hmm. Incredible Lord Bowser, nothing stood in your way. You couldn't be more super! Please, no problem. I felt right at home. But where are we now? Gracious me, look! Lord Bowser on the wall behind you! Hello, could it be? Ah, yeah! A crystal star! Advantage Bowser! <laughs> <laughs> at last we found one, and now we'll make it ours! Freeze chumps! Yeah, who's there? <laughs> don't tell me you know you don't know the famous rock hawk. You little punk weasel, you forgot these muscles, you forgot this hugeness. 
Don't ask me how, but you, you cleared my secret training facility. Not too shabby. I even imported some super freaks up the difficulty level. You're good. Of course, good don't count for squat in this biz, babe. My champ's belt is mine. <laughs> oh look, what an adorable little weakling. Hi, fella. Wait, what? Well, tell me something. You ever say weakling do this? Pain. Ouch. <laughs> uh, now you're sleeping. I knew you were a weakling. Whoa, the crystal star. <laughs> it's the two. No, 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 no. Wait, hold the phone. My mighty Lord Bowser, this is just glass. It's a flim flam, a fake. What? Speak English. You uh, want the real one? The great Gonzalez has it. No lightning hair. Feel. I don't know anybody in Gonzalez. Stop speaking in riddles, you chicken nugget. Crud. Who'd have to flatten and get a crystal star? Who? Who? Uh, the answer to that would be Mario. Alright, now that we are at this point, I'm just going to make sure, because maybe I should have checked this before the stream, but I'm just going to make sure that, uh, the redeems are all there. And they are. Alright. And here we are, back in Rome. Mario, is that an email for your princess? Mario, I now know where I'm being held. I'm on the moon. Yes, the moon that floats out in space. And I've learned something even more horrifying. In order to resurrect the monster spirit, they need my... Hmm, the moon, is it? Each is on the moon? Sounds intriguing, but why is your email cut off? You don't think something's happened to her, do you? Meeting us right at the gate. Excuse me, Luigi. I need to get this. Uh. Ah. It's uh, it's Eve, the one with the three kids. I'm not sure she will be happy. Awesome. May not forget the whole, the hard times or even completely remember them. I'm not sure which one is worse. I think I'm hungry and cry and scream something. Yeah. Well, if you're finding fulfillment in your life, then keep doing your thing. Well, guess what I found in Rapture's Ruins, bro? Yep, a marvelous compass piece. This part of my adventure was actually sort of sad, if you want to know the truth. Well, let's hear it. Rapture's Ruins. Now, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. After journeying, it, after journeying deep into the Grimble Forest, I found the domed Rapture's Ruins. Inside, everything was pure white. You couldn't tell where the floor became walls. Proceeding dead ahead, I found myself in the chamber where a young boy sat. As I approached the boy, someone named Screamy appeared out of nowhere. Screamy said the boy's name was Cranberry and that he'd wait for a fuck before a child of fate. That didn't make any sense to me, so I started searching quietly for the compass piece. But then it happened, bro. I got a tiny tickle in my, in my nose and I let out a huge sneeze. But Cranberry must have heard it because he opened his eyes right up. 
He looked at me and smiled, and suddenly, uh, all of a sudden I couldn't understand his language. Can you believe it? I learned that the boy, uh, the boy was the last of an ancient race, the Luffs. He had been there guarding the marvelous compass piece for the last thousand years. He told me that the compass is an item with the power to see into the future. The ancient Luff Empire uh, used the power of the compass to rule much of the world. Because of the greed, they were cursed by the compass and their empire collapsed. To, uh, to prevent a repeat of their fate, Cranberry broke the, com the compass into seven parts. He hid six and kept one, putting himself to sleep until a worthy hero woke him. I was that hero, bro. He gave it to me and then the ruins vanished. When I added that piece to the compass, it pointed to the far north where the dreaded Kate Song Tower stands. This time I heard Princess Eclair's voice more clearly than ever before. I will rescue the princess. I will be super. And then I'll... 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 Well, I'll figure the rest out later. Anyway, I headed back here to Rogueport after that. I'm making my final preparations for my final battle now. I'm a little nervous, bro. But that's what I've been up to anyway. Alright, buddy. Uh, are you this bluff person that he was talking about? And what did he do this time? Thanks, Raimi. I wonder what the future. I wonder what future is plotted for us by he who holds the compass. Or I must deliver something. Okay. Interesting. Uh, so yeah, there's a couple of things that I want to get right off the bat. And one of them is going to be... I didn't catch exactly where it was, but I do remember there being a crate that had a, um, a star piece behind it. Hmm. Also, I'm trying to remember where I need to go to get to the bad shop. Like Ms. Mouse's bad shop. I think it's through the inn, because there's a very specific badge that I want to get. Yeah, here we are. Super Peel, Ice Smash, Pretty Lucky, Close Call. First attack! Do a first strike to defeat weak foes without battling. Ah, uh, wrong button. And I'm equipping that right now. Um, also, I have a couple of more BP that I can work with. Um, let's get a happy heart. I think the crate might have been around here. And also, now that we have the spring boots, we can get this chest. To get an optional major upgrade, the Ultra Hammer. Actually, I don't know how optional it is. Hi, it's me again, Toadette. Nice to see you again. Way to find the Ultra Hammer. Now your hammer will be even more powerful. 
And you can even, you can also use a new hammer technique. Let's practice it right away. It's just like the, with a super hammer, so no problem. Hold down B and rotate the control stick until your body gets twisty. Then release B to use your ultra hammer. Remember to twist a lot before releasing B, okay? Okay. So basically the same DL, except we can probably break even more things now. Way to go! You got it! Wanna try again? I got it. Alright! You've mastered the Ultra Hammer! Using your Ultra Hammer, you can even break blocks made out of stuff like this! And you can use the Ultra Hammer in battle, too! It... You, you seem to have a sudden dour look on your face. Um, this is kind of sad. This is the last time I get to see you, Mario. Definitely save Princess Peach, okay? And and be careful in your quest, okay? Eh. Oh. Well, I guess that is the last upgrade we're getting. still something here. in the end. Well, that's a mystery. Yeah, whatever. This is not necessarily a hundred percent run. We're just uh, doing what we can to find as much as we can. I don't think it's a uh, a flippy panel because uh, maybe it's on top there. Aha! 
Aha! Is there anything else? There is not. We found everything in the screen. Um, I guess let's go ahead and uh, start taking care of trouble since that's where we are. I'm looking for something. Okay. Let's say a road port. Well, since we are apparently the only person taking on any sort of troubles. By the way... I think we might have enough? Oh, we have enough for two. Uh... Yeah, I'll wait until someone's, uh... Until someone's in chat here. But definitely before leaving for the seventh crystal star. By which I mean I'm completely going to forget. Uh, is there anything on this screen? Sir, can you please direct us to your treasure? Definitely believe you, Ms. Miles, but I'm not seeing what you're smelling. Anyway, let's see what Frankie wants. Um, where is the boss? Oh, furious Frankie. Uh, the message did say that he was on the west side of town. But where on the west side of town? So also entirely possible that I just passed right by him and completely blanked. There he is. You taking on my trouble? I'm glad it's someone tight-lipped, that's all. You see, after after returning from Kielhalki, I lost my wedding ring, believe that? I can't really look for it in front of Francesca, so you gotta find it. I know I lost it after I got back to Rogueport, so it's somewhere in town for sure. If she finds out, be yelling I love you a billion times, so you gotta do this. Also, hello, Sim Guy. Hope you're doing well tonight.
Could it be down here? What is this pipe? Where does that go? The... Where are we? Meanwhile, in Paper Mario 1... Boy, this is darn cold! Where is this place, anyway? It's the winter biome. There is something here. Oh. Right close. But it doesn't seem to be a flippy panel. Where could it be then? Double dip partner. During your battle, uh, during battle, let your ally use two items in one turn. And there's still something here. And it is a flippy battle. Anything else? There is not. Haha! <laughs> Got you with the Ultra Hammer. Bye. All right. Well, let's learn about these uh, cloud folk. That's a nice puff. It's a mean snow cloud that appears in cold areas. Max HP is 9, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It swoops down and uses cold breath to attack. Trust me, it's not refreshing. That cold breath can freeze us, so try to avoid it. Also, if we touch it while it's storing cold energy, we'll get hurt. Isn't that super weak? They're vulnerable to fire, so let's try that maybe. Fire, you say. You got burned. Oh no. Confused. Um, well, that's not what I asked for. Oh, that. Whoa. That was really rude of the game. That lost me 12, uh, 12 audience members. Um, let's see. There's something right here. Not hitting the tree. It's not just behind the tree. It doesn't appear to be. I'm 
not finding a flippy panel. I'm not finding a uh, a hidden block. Kinds of bad. Cool boy. Like that was an frankly unacceptable amount of damage. Except that you're gonna burn down, so go away. obvious one here. So this should probably take you out. And then we still have one left to tie. It's a frost piranha. It's a cool customer with strong ice powers. Max HP is 10, attack is 5, and defense is 0. His binding attack sometimes freezes us, so try to immobilize it first. It's weak against fire attacks, too, so use them as well. Ow. This area is... Not going well. What do you mean you're not dead? Yeah, that's what I thought. Jerk. I think the only thing left in this room is whatever was at the beginning of the room that I can't find. There's something here somewhere. And that would be it. Ah! Uh. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Alright, well, we're using Sweet Feast. Using Fancy Feast. Oh, jeez. Dang. Seventeen all across the board. That I feel like that should have like a special effect, getting the same number for all three of them. It's like you get a bonus of some kind, like you get a partial refund or something. I'm going to shell shield because holy crap that's a lot of dudes. Well that was not really worth it. Oh jeez. And I can't swap because you're in front. Gah. Audience, please don't do that. You were told to chill for a while. I don't want to chill to the point where I'm dead. Also, hey, Terry. I'm not really sure what the best option is here. can't block. Well, that's my last life stream. Oh, jeez. Never mind everything, just go. Oh boy. I hope there's some sort of healing facility here. Hello, sir. Far outpost. Kabom. Please don't explode. The bluey. Okay. What she brew means. I mean... Okay, sure. Maybe a little bit. Oh, thank you. I have in coupon. I will use it immediately. Because holy crap. Oh, hey. Trade the in coupon for whatever this is. Space food. Made by Zesty, apparently. Do you sell life shrooms? I need life shrooms. You do not sell life shrooms. There was one store somewhere that sells life shrooms, and I would much appreciate if someone would look that up for me. Oh, hey. 
Anyway, I get the distinct feeling like I'm not supposed to be here yet. So I'm gonna give this place a quick once over with uh Down? It is. Enough of that. There we go. Where is it? In this house? Probably? She is super excited. I have no idea where you're looking now. Is there anything else here? Probably not. Just for good measure. the only thing. Now let's see if we can get that uh, badge here. I struck first but what did I strike? I didn't see it. Oh thank goodness. Come to think of it, I know who I should be using for this, because uh, they are sus susceptible to fire. And I do have a character that inflicts fire. Now where were you earlier, lovely? <laughs> Speaking of her lovely, we definitely need to go visit her at some point uh, before we start the chapter. We got HP plus partner, increase maximum HP by 5 for partner. We can just zoom through here because holy crap, stuff here is very strong. That's what that does. That was very strange. Also, I'm really not sure where this uh, where this ring is that I'm looking for.
Buddy, do you have any idea? And he drops it on the east side. I am looking for Frankie's uh, wedding ring. Something that uh, Ms. Mouse can sniff out. Yeah, you lost it again. I distinctly remember there not being anything here. And now Ms. Mouse is sniffing out something, so. on that additional little excursion for nothing. Also, let's check the billboard. As it was returned for, uh... Wait, kill. This hasn't been updated? I guess it hasn't. Well, maybe we'll find out. You found it? My ring! Thanks, Maria, from the bottom of my heart. Now take this reward. Gold card. Let's just play the tube mode game. I haven't been able... I haven't even been able to look in the eye lately. So I feel excuse me. Ranny! Okay. We solved the trouble. As for the as for the mystery of how the ring got lost there, well the world will never know. Also, since we got a couple of people in chat now, we've got enough for two for two upgrades. So who do you want to see upgraded? So we got Goombella, who can use Rally Wink to buff Mario's attack. Uh, Koops can use Shell Slam to attack all ground enemies. Flora can use Dodgy Fog to make Mario dodgy. Omelette can use Stampede to attack all ground enemies. Bobbery can use Bobombast to attack all enemies. And Ms. Mouse can use Smooch to boost Mario's HP. And of course, the upgrade will increase uh, that uh, character's attack power by one as well. Um, so Tyrion votes for Bobbery. Do you ha do I hear something from Sim Guy? You know what? Since, uh, since it is just the two of you right now, one vote's enough. Shazubi! Shazubi! And if Sim Guy wants to, uh, chime in here. And vote for someone else to be upgraded.
So, attack boost, attack all ground enemies, uh, make Mario dodgy, which makes him harder to hit, attack all ground em enemies as well, or healing. Dodgy it is. Shazibi! Shazubi! Then you may go. Unless I didn't account for Mesmaz, I think you can upgrade everyone by the end of it. You can upgrade everyone, including Mesmaz, by the end of it. If you get every single uh, Shine Sprite. Well, let's load up another trouble. The savages, the tonsils? What? A golden leaf, a mystic egg, and a keel mango. Let me write this down. Uh, don't need this sheet. Gold. Leaf. Mystic. Egg. Heal mango. Do it and do it right. Um, so I know that we have one of those. We have the golden leaf. So we need the mystic egg and the keel mango. Mystic or mystery? Oh, it looks good. Um, I know where we can probably find the mango. And actually, now that we have the ultra hammer, we should be able to open up the shortcuts. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I do that, I should go pay a visit to my lovely because I'm pretty sure there's not a whole lot of time left on that curse. Uh, was she in this place? Not sure how to get that chest. Oh, Merly, not more lovely. Listen, th there's like four of them, so. Let's go ahead and fill up on this here. So now we should probably be good for the rest of the game, honestly. You go. 
I'm going to guess that this one goes to kill all key. Ooh, FP plus. Increases maximum FP by 5. And this one goes to Paul Shayx. So I'm figuring that the Kiel Mango is probably a Kiel Hall key. Oh, these salads sign. That's uh, interesting. Actually, I don't see any mangoes there. Assessment was correct. So where is the shop here? Fresh pasta. Fifty coins? No. Wait, there isn't a shop here? Unless it's in the hotel. Or can I go into the train without departing upon it? And it probably wouldn't be on the train anyway, because why would... Uh, why would Chef Sashimi, uh, or Chef Shimi, whatever he wants to call himself, why would he ask for anything that's on, that can be found on the train? Because he could just get it from the shopkeeper's book. Yeah, there isn't a shop here. Okay. Guys, where do I find these items? I need uh, either Mystic or Mystery Egg. I just wrote Mist because I'm a nerd. And a Keel Mango. have a golden leaf, so at least I don't have to worry about that. I don't think there's a shop here? Could be mistaken. Strong doubts that there is a shop in the great tree. Maybe I, maybe it's, no, because those are coconuts.
There, there's a tree in Keel Hall Key where I can get something, but I'm like 99% sure it's coconuts, not mangoes. Unless there's just some random tree in Kialki and I have to like hit every single tree there and hope. Which would really suck. Suppose be near the warp pipe. I'm going to assume that is indeed the war pipe here. Of course I could just fall in the water too, that's, that's a good idea. There it is. Alright, um, so where is the egg? Where's an egg? I, Coolio MZX, do not know. Where's an egg? That's either Mystic or Mystery Egg. I, like I said, I shorthanded it and that kind of screwed me. Also, what's over here? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, I can't jump on either of these guys. Okay, so it is in the great. So both of the items come from trees, and yes, indeed, there is an item that I need to get in the great body tree. So I guess let's go back there. And go talk to Petuni. First, hey Petuni. Oh, Petuni is always getting in trouble with the elders. Don't fight me. Hey, hey Mario. Can't you play with me instead? Sure, kid. Yes! Okay, okay, this is so awesome. Ready to play Stump Petuni? You ask me any questions you want. There isn't a question I can't answer. Come on. We get an easy question that Petuni can answer. Uh, Mario likes. What room for the heck of it? <laughs> you have to ask a real question or it's no fun. Boo, Sumpetuni's over. So I have to do exactly like Okay. Mario likes which person the most. The person Mario likes the most? He, I, I know that. You can't stun Petuni. Mario likes Princess Peach the most. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> yes, I'm right. See, Petuni knows the answer to everything. Ooh, ooh, that was fun. Thanks for playing with me. Here, have a present. 
There's the Mystic Egg. Please play again sometime. Honestly, I think the quickest way on the train is going to be to take the warp to Pasha Nights. So I guess uh, the answer to the question of can we get on the train again is actually yes. Oh boy! And away we go. Go talk to the chef. Hello, yes, hello to you. Thank, thank you for accepting my request. I need three ingredients: a golden leaf, a mystic egg, a key to mango. Each one has an exotic taste and aroma that will enhance my mushroom dishes. Have you found them for me? That shining golden leaf. This is it. Thank you much. That puzzling mystic egg. This is it. Thank you much. That colorful Kila Mango, this is it! Thank you much! Now I have all the ingredients! They call to my palate and my skill, begging me to turn them into delicacies! Thank you much, my friend! This is your reward. 40 coins. Thanks, I guess. Um. Just for the heck of it, let's go ahead and buy another mystery. Now I forget how to get off the drain. I think it's just... Man, can, I can retire now. Oh, we we can go back to a reside station. Okay. And pretty much we're just going to sleep the day away. And soon enough we'll be back in Warport. And here we are. J-Pop, thanks for the uh, resub <laughs> sprinting. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> wow. Hey Luigi. Uh, 
Okay, time for trouble number three. Must have that book. Lent a book to Miss Jolene. Now I need it back and rather. Oh my goodness. So now I have to go to Poshley Heights. Then I'm going to have to go to Glitzville. And uh, probably will have to go to several other places. Because that's how this game works. Well, at least we have the warp pipe to Poshley Heights, so we don't have to take. The, um, the excess, excess Express every time. Just had to take the Excess Express that one time because I literally had to talk to someone who was on the train. background all right I was absolutely not paying attention to uh, to who submitted that trouble so I guess let's just start talking to everyone for Red Luigi. <laughs> the hunt for Red Luigi. That wasn't you, was it? Spend twenty times as much G's. I feel like I've talked to just about everyone at Poshley Heights now. If they're not in this house, then I don't know where they are. Ah, of course it's the last person. So, you accepted my request for aid with my little trouble, you delightful man. I just decided I very much want to read a magazine I lent to Jolene. But she, if she lives in Glitzville, and that is very far from here, as you know. Could you go get it for me, resourceful wizard you? You're fabulous, dear. You're gonna give me, like, one coin, aren't you? But that's what's gonna happen.
Hopefully that doesn't mess up the stream or the recording. Uh, I was getting some pop-ups from Windows Defender. Which that sort of thing is bound to happen when uh, when you have a program that's going through your entire hard drive, every single file on it. Anything worthwhile this time? Stopwatch, Green Star, Jumpman, Double Pain. Nope. Only stuff for completionists, masochists, and speedrunners. Which, you know. Not necessarily that there there's a decent amount of overlap in these. I'm not gonna say the Venn diagram is a perfect circle, but uh there's a lot of overlap. get this now. Alright, let's go talk to Jolene and she's gonna say that she doesn't have the thing and that she lent it to someone else and I'm gonna have to chase this thing all over the world. No, I'm not here to fight. Do you need something? Hmm? Tools this magazine? Oh yes, I know the one. Alright, alright, I'll return it soon. Hmm? I have to return it now? With that magazine? Okay, fine, give me a moment. Oh, what is it now? Give me a second. No, this is fine. Allow it. Don't get the wrong idea. I borrowed this magazine as a promoter, that's all. I need to see what the fuss was about. It's not like I follow fads or anything. Wrestling mag. Okay, well I I was entirely expecting to have to like run all over the world for this, but uh, I guess not. I guess since we're here... Okay, it's gonna be on the other side then. Was it this? 
secret block. Is that a flippy pan? I doubt it's a flippy pan. This tire the space. Boston! Drop damage Mario receives by half when he is in danger. And that's it. She can't be a fan of wrestling. Pretty sure she can be a fan of whatever she wants. But it does make sense also that she would uh, want to uh, keep her eye on the industry. Flippy down? Flippy down. Come on. There we go. That's it. Looks like we are going the wrong way. Wait a minute. Now you're sniffing something else out. Bloody Ben. Remember that because of the don't get the wrong idea, I mean that's either you're a fan of wrestling or you want to see buff men. Which I have, I have no issues with either. And there is still something here. Probably inside the building. Or is it? I am uncertain. This is where the shine sprite was, by the way, guys. Yeah, I don't know where this other thing is. I'm just gonna go.
I mean, as it is, we're 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 almost halfway through the stream, and uh, we're not even really that close to starting Chapter 7 yet. not visited the Thousand Year Door yet, no. I mean, we know where the where the next star is going to be based on our, uh, on our Princess Peach scene, because we already knew that the star was going to be in the Exxon Fortress, and we just found out that that fortress is on the moon, so it's just gotta be a matter of the map telling us to go to the moon. Um, right, so we need to go. Oh, no. This pipe. So that I can go here. This shortcut will get us to Pasha X. Without having to take the long ass Excess, Excess Express. Did you get the, the magazine from Jolene, you wonderful man? You. Yes, this is the magazine I lent to Jolene, all right. You are a true hero, thank you. Here's my thanks to you. Platinum card. Let's just play the boat mode game. This magazine is very popular among certain celebrities. Everyone who has been spotted in a cafe, uh, everyone who is anyone, has been spotted in a cafe with it under one arm. Sure. So let's get that last trouble uh, done and taken care of, and then we can start heading over to, toward the ta the the dead thousand year door there. But Famous are fans of wrestling or buff men. And you can also, the, the lesson here is you can also pretend to be rich and famous just by getting an issue of that magazine and uh, just walking around with it apparently. The code to my briefcase, oh no. Oh, why do we gotta go to Glitzville again? Like, send us literally anywhere else. We have shortcuts to every area. Uh, either shortcuts or short paths to begin with. 
to every area except Glitzville because it's up in the sky and they're sending us to friggin' Glitzville twice. who accepted my request. Well, here's the thing. I forgot the code for the for the lock on my briefcase and the prototype of, my, of our new cup... Uh, and the prototype of our company's new product is inside. It's a big deal. I can't, if I don't figure out how to get into that briefcase, I'll be psyched for sure. Not that briefcase code. You see, I'm a real chair fanatic, like anything you sit on. I use the number of chairs in the houses I visited on businesses... Oh my goodness. I uh, visit those places and... Oh. Okay... This is the one that's going to send us all over the place. Harry. Anything you said. Oh boy. I was hoping this wouldn't be quite so circuitous, but um, looks like we've got a lot of running around to do for this trouble, and I'm sure it's going to be a lot more trouble than it's worth. So let's head back to Rogueport. Hello, Jewel. How are you doing today? Uh, what do we need to do? We need to go to four places and count the number of chairs. Now of the sickness. I'm dying too, but not of the sickness. I'm dying of why do we need to go to four different locations and count the chairs. find the save first, actually.
Um, I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say no on that. Uh, it's, it's tedious. I realize. But, uh... That's kind of what it's meant for. I don't know. I my I'm weird brained on this and I apologize in advance. Anyway. We're gonna go on break. Um so y'all can uh get something to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to. Stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and uh hopefully once we get back it won't be too long before we can actually move on to um, chapter 7. I've just got a couple of places to visit. That's all it is. So, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> 